First, I keep bringing it up because I don't want you guys to forget. This is a big deal. Yeah, it, it sure <laughs> I know is. it feels like it's far off, but it's not. It's happening in April. Um, so yeah, just keep it on, on your radar. Uh, September, we did a big library card campaign. I don't have statistics yet. I'm going to try to get those because we're not at the end of the month. No. <laughs> but um, wow, people love the new library cards and people are yeah, trading well, in their old ones. Idea. Really I'd like the like keychain. Yeah. yeah, I want to um, tease her. <laughs> <laughs> and um, the strategic planning team met. We're, we're called Shaping Our Future. We'll met Public Library and we're going to host the community conversations. Harry's coming next week to train the planning team and the engagement team members who are people who are going to go out and just talk to all these uh, different agencies and meetings in the community and bring that information back to the planning team to start to, to craft that. Okay. Unless you have questions. Just seven. All right. Um... We've got, we already did the facilities. Um, Jan, briefly, uh, mm -hmm. it's getting late. Yeah, you tell us what's going on. Okay, I'll do it as quick as I can. <laughs> um, just a curious question in uh, the August 24th, they talk about this, Dee Brennan. Mm -hmm. Did you, you know her? Yeah, yes. she was the director at Oak Park while I was there oh, for okay. a while. Yeah, yeah. So I know her very I, well. I figured you probably Yeah, yeah. she's wonderful. Yeah, that's pretty prestigious. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, just a couple of things other than that. Actually, it's, it's pretty short, but um, this was interesting. There's, in case you didn't know, there's a Guinness World Record of the number of library books that have been put out kind of end corner to corner uh, for however, however long. The current record was set in 2016 with 13,410 books. <laughs> it was 1.4 miles and it was done in the United Kingdom. And we have just had another one take place here um, that was trying to beat that one. So keep in mind, 20, what did I say? 13,000 books, okay. This, uh, this one was done Friday, September 8th at the um, Southern Illinois University in Edwardsville. Uh, from what I could tell from the uh, picture in there, were a lot of children's books and a lot of children participated in this. It actually took 21,048 books, and it was nearly three miles long. Wow. So it's currently being studied by the Guinness World Record <laughs> people to see if we actually beat the United uh, Kingdom. Uh, uh, but all the books are being donated to Kids Books Projects, Head Start, and it was um, all coordinated by a uh, uh, professor at the, at the school. His last name is Hop. Anyway, he runs a kids' books projects there and makes sure that um, Head Start programs get books year-round. So it's just kind of a fun thing. I can't conceive of three miles, and I, it did not say how long it took them to do it, but some of them must have been there overnight. And then the uh, only other thing of interest really was that the Carla Hayden, our uh, uh, Washington, D.C., uh, librarian at the Library of Congress, uh, came into the Springfield area, which is where she kind of grew up, and um, she actually sat down and read some books, read a book to a group of kids, and uh, she said that uh, what she wanted for lunch was a steak and shake. <laughs> she hadn't been there in a while, but her mother took her to uh, libraries when she was very young, and her father worked at one of them, I think, or he was a messenger at the state capital of the Illinois Library. So she had a very early introduction to, uh, you know, political libraries, if you want to call them that. And um, I guess she was absolutely delightful in sharing herself and her information to the kids and talking to them about what it's like being the head librarian of the United States. So those two things. Thank you. <laughs> Dan, is there anything you want to tell us about that we, you think we should know about Illinois, the state government? Um, no. Okay. 
Alrighty. Um, um, I'm looking at, um, well, obviously, the upcoming for all of us is strategic planning. Um, uh, Joanne mentioned the Friends of the Library Volunteer Luncheon on October 6th. ILA is coming up. Uh, anyone who would like to attend, just let Cynthia know, and she will take care of your registration. Um, anything additional? I actually did um, ask Heather about the pretty detailed, and it looked to me sort of thoughtfully curated list of of um, films that somebody yes. specifically, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah some, yeah. some of which are uh, 15, 15, 15 films. <laughs> Twilight yeah. Samurai is yeah. really good. I've seen Just that a few one. Films. Which one? <laughs> Twilight that Samurai. Yeah. Well, so then, when, yeah. So so when. It, and so she used basically. I told Kathleen, you know, any time a patron requests the materials, we almost always buy it. If it's a woman yeah. patron, almost always. I, we yeah. don't if. You know, there are situations where we can't usually because right. it's out of print or it's mm -hmm. in a format that mm -hmm. we can't circulate. But yeah. we try to get things that patrons request as yeah. much as possible. So yeah. we'll there was a nice little story about the guy who left his wallet too and came back. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. So. Um, any new business? Entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. A second. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. 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 Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's a late one.